In a previous video, we unpacked and gave a first look of our new Van Gogh awning. The link to that video is down below. But now we have used it for a while, we thought we would show you how we put it up, attach it to the van, plus we added a couple of extra accessories. So let's get into that video now. So today we're going to show you, after many practices, one, two, three or four practices, we're going to show you how we put up our Van Gogh Air Hub Hexaway 2 and it's going to go perfectly. So the first thing we do is we've laid out the ground sheet protector which um, isn't perfect and it is really windy so we've had to put things to hold it down with um, but it gives you like a good starting point because of the shape of the driveway awning um, we did find it really difficult first of all putting it up before but once you've got this in place it sort of gives you a rough idea of where the beams have to go and what we have to do so we have the driveway awning kit which consists of a strip like this which will show you what we do within a second and four of these things which connect the awning canopy tunnel to the side of the van so the first thing we have to do is probably the easiest part of the whole process this is on the california but it'd be similar on any awning or awning rail you have you just have to feed you can see in there the awning into your slot and then run it along so it's even that's the first thing we do and then that's ready for when we get the awning inflated to um, or when we get the awning unrolled to connect to the side of the van which we're going to do now okay so the next stage is to connect the tunnel to the van definitely definitely a two-man job but I'll do the first couple on my own we're basically taking one of these figure of eight strips which you may or may not be able to see and sliding it in there and then we attach That's one in. That's two in. Like I said, it's definitely easier if two people do it. But let's see how we get on. Okay, so we've got all four of the plastic strips in. The awning is now attached to the van, but it does move quite easily. So we found that the way to keep that in place, the first pegs you put in are these ones down the side, which go down the side of the van. So one peg in here, same the other side, and that just stops the whole awning from moving and keeps it in place while we go around and peg all the other ones in. Okay, so. We have now hammered these two pegs in down here, which keeps that in place, so that can't move much either way. And we've also hammered the first peg in here on each side where the air beam is. And just make sure that's nice and tight this way. And it's pulled relatively tight across the inside of the door there. Um, and that's the first two. And what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna go around and hammer in the other four pegs all the way around the outside. Okay, all six pegs in. Now it's over to Suzanne, who's gonna pump it up. Okay, so now it's all pegged out. The next thing is to do is get ready to pump the awning up. So this awning has three valves, um, two of which we close and only one we leave open to pump up, okay? So we're gonna use this one to pump up. So we'll just go around closing the other valves off. 
So these are the valves and it says open closed. So there's a little mechanism here that you just attach and then you twist to the closed position. But I've got um, the string caught up there and it's just attached to the closed position. So that's closed. So again, there's the valve. Attach it to that and then put it in the closed position. Simple pump simple hose there is a um inflate deflate uh sort of input and output on the top so we just obviously make sure that we go on the inflates because we don't want to be there pumping for hours and nothing inflating we're now back at the one valve that we didn't lock off and it's just a case of lining up the entrance to the uh, the valve here with the pump thingy and it locks into place pretty secure and when we start pumping this, the whole thing will go up. So we are going to, we're going to do that now. Come on, honey. When it gets to this stage when there's obviously air in there and it's starting to come up good idea just open one of the doors go inside and just push it up in the middle so that you've got your shape that you need and it leaves be easier to get the air in so the closest door There we go, fully up, once it's up, pop the hose out, make sure you put the, the cover back on in the right place and tightened up. Throw all the stones out. And it's done. And now we're gonna quickly, we're gonna quickly show you the ground sheet and the carpet inside. It's up, we're inside now. Um, so this is the base ground sheet on the bottom, but there is another ground sheet that goes on top of this. So this is called what is called a footprint ground sheet protector and then the ground sheet goes on top of this it clips in and we'll show you how but it clips into the, it, each of the poles has a clip um there which it clips into okay here's a ground sheet each of the points on the hexagon has one of these hooks that just clip into those little circles that we just that we just shown you. Very noisy. This is probably the fiddliest part of the whole job, but basically you can see if you then can focus on this clip. You see there's this little flap here that's on the outside of the hook at the moment. Just move that on the inside. Once you offer it up to the ring that's down there, you can just sort of force the ring in that way. It's really hard to show you. You might be able to see this if you do this one. I mean, so basically, like that. And that's it, six times. I'll finish that up now quickly and then we'll get the carpet out, which is a lot easier. Then it makes it feel a lot more roomly. Homely? Roomly? Homely. 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 This is the carpet, doesn't come with it, it is an optional extra, um, comes in a handy carry bag. So it's got Velcro straps and they just pop round each of the poles. So it feeds through the back and then Velcro's up like that. Really warm now. I'll carry on doing that and we'll see you when we're finished. Um, so they've all strapped in and it just makes it feel a bit more comfy on the old feet, you know. Makes it feel a bit more homely. Um, 
there is like a we're going to put this up in a minute now and i find it a, a, like a canopy i don't know how to describe it it just pops over these uh the clips and it hides away the zips of the air beams We've also got lights to put up as well, which we'll show you later. Okay, so I'm going to start clipping in this, um, don't know what you call it. <laughs> it's like a lampshade, isn't it, because we hang the lights off it it's as like well. A, so yeah, it's, just, yeah. it's kind of like a vanity cover kind of thing. Uh, obviously they just clip in. Uh, I am getting used to now reaching up. It is quite high for me to reach up. <laughs> the last time I got Richard to do it, but you do have to like uh, stretch and ah, reach up. There you go. It's because I'm short. There you go. And well, I'm not that short, am I? And last one. Uh, <laughs> my sound effects. There you go. And that just covers. <laughs> Who needs the... sound effects when you've got users in? I know. That's just covers the zip so it looks a little bit better doesn't it lastly um this is another like protector which goes between the van and the driveway or uh, the awning so it's just quite handy i like it going down which is not that fast about it going down but it stops you taking dirty dusty feet back into the van it's got clips so you can clip it down to keep it protected but we don't ah! we just put normally something on top just to keep it and then you can wipe your feet and step into the van like that i just think it's better a bit of extra protection rather than taking all your dirt into the van with you because i'm like a clean Bam. obviously hex away hex six six sides one of them is a door that obviously connects to the van and then you've got five other sides three of them have a a mesh in so it lets the air in but not the bugs and suzanne's just opening them up now and they can just be connected. Let me show you what Susan's doing around here. They just get connected with these. Um... I haven't done it very neat. That's okay. I? Oh, I'm having difficulty with this double. And then behind these ones, if I can find the zip, in case you want light when it's raining, it's just. Perspex, a clear plastic, um, like a window basically, no plastic obviously, so it lets air in but it will let the rain or the wind in, it keeps it warm at the same time. So there is a wire, a mesh, a mesh, oh, rain, and a mesh, and on this door and that door, it is the, um, the plastic window type ones. Done it. Now that took us probably 45 minutes, I reckon, because we were stopping and filming it. It was longer than it normally does, but we've managed to do this in about 20 minutes, um, excluding setting up with tables and chairs and stuff, but to inflate it and get it pegged out and stuff, 20 minutes. This is a finished product, really light, really airy, nice carpet underfoot. Um, I forgot to mention earlier that we have in the top here, on three of the panel, three of the six sides, windows in the top as well so there is still some light in if you have all of these if you have all of these windows shut if you're getting changed or using it for a bedroom or something you still get some natural light in in the morning evenings for example if um if all the windows are up so that's it but we're going to show you the lights that we we've got a strip of lights that we hang around here which really lights up the inside nicer in the evening we'll show you that a bit later on when we get those up when the sun goes down but for now we're just going to spend five minutes putting in chairs tables and just getting our stuff in to live in so see you soon
it's now um, seven o'clock. We're going to put our lights up. So we have the Van Gogh Sunbeam Flexi Light, and it is simply a reel, if you like, of um, of LED light. So it comes on this sort of like hose type reel, and all we do is let's quickly unravel it. Oh, it's longer than I thought. Okay, so we basically, we have these hooks here and we just have the lead here. So this lead plugs into the end of the lights, which we'll show in a second. And um, the other end of this is a USB plug. And we'll show you what we do that in one minute. But first of all, we just, Through there stays sort of around here somewhere and then basically we just run the lead through the rings here that we use to put the um, this little cover up here so it's just I mean, it doesn't have to go through the rings it can go just looping over it um, which is quicker like that and then this one sort of joins back up from where we started and as long as they're all on the outside of that thing in the middle it is then just a case of taking the USB extension lead which is really long and plugging one end into the light it just plugs in, pushes in like that with a little screw. I don't know if you can see that from over there, but it's basically it screws together like that. We could run this into the van and plug it into the one of the USB ports in the van, but that would mean leaving a window or a door open or something like that. Um, which is fine, but midges and stuff sometimes in campsites we go to. So we just have a battery power bank and plug that in if you look at the lights. There we go. Not very effective now because it's still bright sunshine, but surprising how much these little LED lights light up the whole the whole awning, which we'll show a clip of in a second. But and then we just throw this on the floor. So we leave that down there. And Suzanne's just reminded me that we also have a remote control, which is basically um, brightness up and down, or 100% down to 10%. So you could just press the 100% full power, 10% smallest power. But you can change it individually like and that. So with this, we normally have it on 100%. I mean, if you can see the lights now, which probably won't be a good. So that's yeah. 10%, 100%. It doesn't look very light bright in this in this sunshine, but it is enough to light this awning. And then for this, all we do is we just keep it up there. And that's it. That's our lighting. We don't do much else other than that. Uh, and we'll show you a clip in now of what it looks like when it's dark. I think that's basically it for the Van Gogh awning now. It's um, set up, everything's good. It's a really big space. We love the way it connects to the van. It gives us all this space here. 
So there we go. I hope you found, or if you found this, well, I hope you found it useful. And if you did, please give us a thumbs up and stay tuned for more videos. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Thank you.